Hello guys, and I'm here with Philip Momo Whitfield from Four Kings. You've just knocked Tech out of the winner bracket round three. How does that feel? Uh, it's really good, obviously, playing against some friends from Sweden. We've always wanted to play him, and uh, especially Hanky, uh, and to be in 3-0 is good. good feeling. Um, how are you feeling going into the competition? Are you feeling confident? You haven't lost a game yet. Do you feel like, you know, when it, what's the team you're going to be looking for most in the competition? I think the, the main thing is that all of us playing well at the same time. Sometimes you're having a bit shaky starts, but at the start of the tournament, you're playing like less, well, I'd say worse teams in a way, but kind of gets into it. We really played well then, and um, if we win our next game, I think we're going to be playing either optical or leverage, so I think that's going to be, uh, you know, hopefully a really good game, but it's a tough one. Who, who do you think played best on your team? I know it's not normally nice to single people out, but, you know, who do you think's really playing well at this event? Yeah, I mean, if, if I'm going to say uh, one person, I want to, like, say, obviously, first of all, to Moose. A lot of people kind of say connection-wise. Um, but just then, I think he went 18-6 and six, or 19-6, and six, something like that, which, you know, he, he's a slayer. That's his job. You know, Kyle's to run flags. That's what he does. You know, myself as well. Mark, he literally comes to the back of the flag and does his job. So everyone's working together. And I think the, the team that we have... Um, it needs to all just click and at the moment it is doing and whether we can forward that on into the later rounds against the good teams uh, against the American team should I say but uh, we'll have to wait and see yeah because you've had a few team changes you know you've dropped people you've picked other people up so is Moose fitting in well with the team yeah the team what do you mean this team at the minute is it, yeah I mean the team at the minute it took ages to get uh, but I was really selective of who I picked uh, obviously personal you know I, I want the team to click in the game and out the game but and they are doing and I think it's shown in the, in the games where, you know, I've never had a team so motivated, like, during games, just, like, little high fives, well done, praising each other, and I've never been in a team like that, so it, it feels good to be part of that. Yeah, I mean, I saw when you lost a round, all of you were still giving high fives, so the morale was kept really high, which is always good, you know, because you're here for fun at the end of the day. Winning's, you know, obviously what you come for, it, but if you don't enjoy it, there's no point in coming. Uh, one thing I do want to ask is, do you know how people sort of, you, you pick players that you want to get in along with, in the game as well as outside of the game. Do you think that maybe what could be holding teams back here in the UK rather against American teams where even if they don't get along outside of the game, they're still really good together? Uh, it's a really good point, to be honest. I mean, I, I think in Europe, like the likes of Prophecy, they've been working on it. They've been swapping one or two every event to get this perfect team, and hopefully they have now with Jake. But I think if you look at um, Leverage, I mean, TP and Aches have teamed for, the, you know, they're like brothers in a way. They've teamed for... The whole Black Ops season, they didn't change. They won like two events. But I think that's what people need. They need a stable team. And that's what I'm hoping for in Black Ops 2. I want to go into a, a game with this team and I want to end the game with this team. So I think that's what we need. And I think you are right in what you're saying, yeah. All right, well, thanks for taking time out. Thank you very much. Bye.